So today we're jumping ahead a little bit to surface area of rectangular prism. Now a rectangular prism is a 3D object that has six sides or faces. And I'm going to shade in the faces as we talk about them. So opposite sides or faces are parallel and congruent. So this face right here, which is the top of the prism, like the top of a box, is going to be congruent to the bottom of the prism, or the bottom of the box. This right side right here is going to be congruent to this left side right here. And this is going to be the hard one to see, is this front This front of the box is congruent to this back of the box, which you can't really see because I can't show you the back of the box on paper. So to find the surface area, find, find the area of each face and add. So for a rectangular prism, prism excuse me, we can take the area of the top times 2 because that's the also this the area of the top is equal to the area of the bottom plus the area of the right times 2 plus the area of the front times 2 now that's only for this for a rectangular prism when we go and talk about triangular prisms it's going to be a little bit different. So let's do an example. So find the surface area of each prism. So first we're going to find the surface area, the area of this front and this back, if you can see it right there. Okay, so this right here is a, s a rectangle. So we're going to take 9, which is the length, times, if you look at this one, this one's 5, and since it's a rectangular prism, this one also has to be 5. So we're going to take 9 times 5, which gives us 45 for the f for this front piece. And in order to get the back piece as well, we're going to times this by 2, which is equals 90. So 2, the front face and the back face, together have an area of 90. So now we're going to do this side right here and this left side right here. And since those are congruent, we're going to do the same thing we did with this one. So we're going to take the area of this one, which is 4 times 5, which will give us 20, and we're going to times that by 2 to get 40. Now that takes care of both this side and this side. So now we have one more thing to find the area of, which is this top right here and this bottom right here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take, except this time it's going to be 9, because that's this side of the box, times 4, which is the width of the box. So A is equal to 36, and we're going to multiply it by 2 to get the bottom and the top. So and we get the area of that part is 72. So now we're going to take this and this and this and add them all together to get the surface area of the whole thing. So 90 plus 40 plus 72. And if you type that into a calculator, you'll get the surface e area is equal to 202. So now we have one more example we're going to do, and it's a triangular prism this time. So we're going to have, this prism does not have six 
rectangular faces. Instead, it has three, this one, this right one, this left one, and then this bottom one. So we're going to have three rectangular prisms and then two, this front and this back that are triangular. So each one of these um, prisms is going to be congruent because this is five and this is five. So that and then that means this one is also five and this was also five. So they're all going to have the same dimensions. So we're going to take for the area of the rectangle, we're going to take five times five, which gives us twenty-five. And we're going to multiply that by 2 because it will give the area, because the area across from it is going to be the exact same. So 50 for these two. For the bottom, the area is also going to be 5 times 5 because we have this length and this width. So 25. And now we need the area of these two triangles right here. So they drew in this height for us and told us that it was 4 millimeters. So to find the area of this triangle we're going to take one half base times height. One half of four is two. Two times six is twelve. We're going to multiply that two by two because we have two triangular faces. So times two equals twenty-four. Now to get the total surface area we're going to take this plus this plus this and we get area is equal to 50 plus 25 plus 24. So area is equal to 50 plus 25 is 75 plus 24 gives us 99. So our surface area is 99 meters squared. Now, even though this is a three-dimensional object, we're still in meters squared because we're, we just want the surface area. If we were finding volume, then we'd be in meters cubed. So I just remembered that we left units off of this one. So we're just going to go back and add our units real quick. So where was our final answer? Right here. So it should have been 202 inches squared. But that's all we're going to do with surface area. Um, make sure you come back because in the next lesson, we're finally going to get to learn how to do volume of prisms.